like for you to be aware of these first two reactions involving alkenes. They are addition reactions where we're adding two things to the carbons in the double bond. In the first reaction, we're adding a hydrogen and a chlorine. As you can see, each atom is added to each of the carbon atoms. In the second reaction, we're adding pieces of water to the double bond. One carbon gets the OH, the other carbon gets the hydrogen. Now, there's something special that occurs in both of these reactions, and that is where the chlorine and where the OH goes. They go on to a carbon that has the least number of hydrogens. That's a very important detail when you're doing your OWL and answering questions on the exam. I'll do some problems involving uh, these reactions. I'd like to do some problems in OWL 12B that cover the addition of HCl and of water to a double bond. And by the way, you could add HCl or HBr and mechanistically it all is the same. It's just the chlorine instead of the bromine. Read the question, pause the video, and try to draw the product predicted based on what I discussed earlier. Examine the structure. You would have predicted that the chlorine would get attached to this carbon because it has fewer number of hydrogens. In fact, it has no hydrogen attached to it. And the hydrogen of the HCl would go on to this carbon. So the structure, or the product structure would look something like this. This here is the carbon and the structure which is right here, that second carbon. There are the two methyl groups and now this CH2 became a methyl group and the chlorine would attach to this carbon right there. Again, predict the major product for this reaction. Now treat the bromine just like you would chlorine. In this case, we have a carbon with one hydrogen and a carbon with also one hydrogen. You will get equal amounts of both of the products. So you would draw this structure where the bromine is on this carbon and also this other structure where the bromine is on this third carbon. Consider this reaction where you're hydrating this particular alkene. And don't get distracted by the H2SO4. That simply has to be there because it's a catalyst. You do not need to be concerned about it. It's there just for completion of the reaction. But predict what the major product would be. The carbon choices are this one here with one carbon and this other carbon with no hydrogens on it. Carbon choices are this one here with one hydrogen on it, and this other carbon with no hydrogens on it. And the OH is going to get attached to that carbon there with the two ethyl groups. So there's your major product. Now I'll do a few problems from 126E.